So I, um, yeah, I've been really wanting, I really miss the, you know, the fry box that we used to have. So I was like, I'm gonna try to make a fry box and it's really pretty easy. So I'll show you, hi Marcella. Um, <clears throat> you too, Carrie. So this is the um, box that I'm making. This one is not Valentine's, although you can make it as a Valentine's box. But I thought it turned out pretty cute, you know, for and pretty close to what our fry box used to look like. Um, I hope you feel better, Carrie. I heard so many people are coughing, like the, the Sunday in church, everybody was coughing around us. And my husband's like, oh my gosh, I hope we don't get sick. And so this is, I just put some little chocolates in it, but um, it really, all you need are your, the layering ovals to do this. I know. And so I just stuck it in one of our new um, little cellophane bags and but you can just stick candy in there i did another version i'm going to show you too and i could show you both i ha i prepped for both so if you want to see them both here's the other one i did for like a birthday isn't that cute and these i just stick the, like some m m's and a little the little mini bars in there and um so i thought it was fun and, and it kind of looks like a our little fry box. I really miss that die. I don't know wh why we we couldn't keep it. <laughs> I wish we could keep a lot of things, but I know I know they have to change it up. I know, and I love the Bonanza Buddies too. And you could put any one of the little buddies on here. I just picked him because um, I was using the basic black or yeah, the Memento black, and so I just changed it up. Oh no, everybody is sick, huh? So that's what I'm gonna share today. And I'll show you both versions. I pre-cut a lot of the stuff for this one so it wouldn't go on forever. But this one is using the um, free stamp set and I've been wanting to use it. So it's the Celebration Choice and it's the Thoughtful Banners. And then this is the punch that goes with it. So it makes it really you know pretty quick because we're just stamping the flowers thank you Lisa with that and I'm using this one I used the Parisian I forgot what the name of it was yeah the Parisian blossoms this um, designer series paper is so pretty this is one of those I haven't really wanted to use because it's really pretty I love, love this little one right here. I'm still trying to think of what I could use, use it for. It's got little luggage on it and it's really cute. I really like this paper. And of course I'm using the Birthday Bonanza, this one. <laughs> it's so cute. And you can even make this quicker, this little one, because you can punch out, or you can, with the dies, you can punch out the little figures on here, like that other what did I do last time? Something with this, but you can use the dies on these too. So it'll make it really quick if you wanted to do it really quick. But I like stamping them because they're so cute. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I got everything prepped. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. And I'm using the layered ovals. And I'll, I'll tell you what sizes these are in case you have like similar ones. Hi, Connie. Welcome everyone if I forgot anybody or if I missed anybody. And then this um, die comes from the banded detailed bands, this one. And I just pulled it out of there, but I'm cutting it down to fit on the box. So anything that you have will work for that. All right, let me grab my stamps here. All right, so the first thing we have to do, oh, well, I'll tell you the measurements of all this first. I finally did, I'm uploading, hi, Teresa. I'm uploading a um, one of the late Facebook Lives that I did. I think it was like the first one or the second one I did after I came back from Christmas break. 
I'm going to be uploading there tomorrow with all the measurements on it. I'm really working hard to get those out <laughs> with all the measurements and stuff on it. So this is, I'm just using for this one, Whisper White, and this is the thick. The thick always works really good for these, and it's five and a half by eight and a half. And then you're going to need one mat that is four and four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then another piece that's two and three quarters by three and a quarter. And then these are for the sides, which on the Bonanza um, Buddies ones, I didn't mat the sides. But if you want to mat it, I did on the other one. And these are seven eighths by three and one quarter. So that is pretty much everything. And you're going to be surprised. It's really pretty easy. Hi, Mary Kay. Thank you all for sharing. All right, so we're going to score this. And on the eight and a half inch side, we're going to score it at three and four. And then on the five and a half inch side, we're just scoring at one inch on each side. So you'll do it at one and four and a half. And that's all the scoring. We do need to mat this first before we do the big shot work on it to cut it. All right, so let's mat these. We're not going to mat the sides. We're just going to mat the top and the bottom part. I'm just going to use wet glue. If anybody has any questions as we go along, you can just put it in there and I'll look to see if I can keep up with it and <laughs> or else I'll check them over. Um, I'll check it over after we're done here and I'll answer them after I get off. Oh, um, Deborah Wilson, is she here today? I didn't see her, but she won last week for sharing. And a lot of Debras are winning. Deborah, you won, Deborah James won last week, and now Deborah. So we, okay, so now this one, you don't mat it here, you're gonna mat it on this side, because this is gonna fold up. I know, I love this paper. It's really pretty. But look at this one too. That's really pretty too. It's so nice. All right, so we have those matted. Now let's go ahead and I'm using the punch for the flowers and I already got the, did I cut? Yeah, I got that all cut. Okay, I only thing I need to do is, is cut the box. So we'll bring this up and do it on this one. So now how we're gonna do this is, let me me uh, measure these real quick so I can tell you if you have dies like this, uh, about this size. So that space is about three and a quarter. Um, that's across the long way. And that's the smaller one, and then you do need a, a bigger one. And this one is three and a half. This one going across this way. And we're going to use the smaller one on the bottom down here. And this one, you are going to just set it on here. And it's not even halfway. And you can just make sure that it's in between your two score marks where you have it and try to make it, you know, as even just eyeball it. You don't have to be perfect. And then I'm just going to run it, this part through and leave that so it won't cut through that other part. And then we're just going to run that through. You don't really have to come back. So there's the bottom and I can see it. I kind of got it off of here, but it'll be okay. And then, let's see, it likes to stick to this. And then on this one, you're gonna do, 
you're going to cut it this way you're going to put this all the way to the end but you're not going to cut all the way you're going to just cut about halfway i need to make sure this one is even though on both sides i can't see the there we go i think that's about all right and you might want to use sticky note on this part you might want to use a little to just make sure it stays in place so i'm just going to stick that there and then you are only going to cut like not maybe about halfway not quite halfway i gotta make sure these are straight that didn't move did it no and then we're just going to run that through and it's going to I looked everywhere on YouTube and I couldn't find a fry box without a die so it's going to look like this let me scoot this out of the way and then I can show you better and I'll show you this again when I show you the little um, Bonanza Buddy one so what you're going to do then is you're just going to cut straight across here to that and it'll come off like that and you'll do the same here and it'll come off like that so it's going to look like that and then we're going to cut up these because these are going to fold up and then this side too And then these, where's my little bone folder? Oh, I put it away. I was really organized today. I was cleaning up and I even put my bone folder away. <laughs> oh, you were grocery shopping today, Linda. It's a surprise, Deborah. I think you'll like it though. <laughs> All right, so then we're just gonna fold this up. And we're gonna put adhesive on this side and then it's gonna fold up like that. And I'll show you how to do this part. All right, so let's go ahead and add some. gonna fold these up and there we go make sure this bottom one this bottom's even because that's the part that's gonna matter because we're gonna cut part of the top thanks Anne. and so what I did is I just you can see where it is here so I just cut it across there like that and then this one too I just cut across so it has that like edge that's why I went ahead and um, matted the sides because you could see that but you don't really have to mat it in the and the other one it didn't really I didn't think it really showed too much so I just left it plain but you don't have to so let's go ahead and mat those and then I'm going to just trim where I mat it so it's even with that angled part so that I made this a little bit long but it's so I could cut it so it's really and then I'm just cutting the same way so that it's just even with that. See how it's easy, right? <laughs> it looks like it'd be difficult, but it's not. All right, so let's go ahead. On this part that we're gonna stamp, I am going to just cut off. I'm just gonna make it like, cut it off here just straight 
like that and then I'm going to stamp that. I'm even doing it the same way for the other one. So we're going to use some Memento Black to stamp this. And I really like this sentiment on this one, which did I, yeah, it says it's always amazed. I'm always amazed, but never surprised by your thoughtfulness. And I wanted to use the same stamp set for it, for this. So um, I got to grab my mat. And so then we're going to just put that in the center. I really, really love this mat. I, I can't say enough about this mat. <laughs> it has really changed things for me. Because I would never get such good, crisp, clean when I first stamped. <laughs> so I'm using Flirty Flamingo and Pool Party for the flowers. And we're going to stamp those. And I actually have been stamping this one first, full strength, and then I stamp this one, And but I stamp off. I think I did it the opposite way, actually, but either way will work, whatever works best for you. And then I can, let's do it the other way. I'm going to do two of the pool party. Yeah, that's why I did it this way. Because it's harder to see, it's easier to see this way if you do. I knew there was a reason. It's easy to line, easier to line it up full strength. And then where is, okay, let me clean that off real quick. And we'll do the flirty flamingo ones. I'm gonna do three of these. So we'll stamp all of these. Yeah, I do too. I love this, these colors. <laughs> I like these colors together too. But that's the colors that are in this paper. So I usually try to go by what it says. You all know that you can look on the back and it gives all the colors that are in the paper, right? The designer series paper. All right, and then we're just going to punch these out. Hi, Debbie. Probably should close up my ink. I forgot to uh, punch the center or stamp the centers, but I can do that. Let's put these away and then I'm going to do those in the black. And this one. And let's do these two. I have a really cute one for Sunday, so be sure to check it out on Sunday. And it re it's not my original idea. I saw it. I did change it and stuff my own way, but I saw a girl on Pinterest. And the picture was on there, but it didn't say how to do it. There was no video, so I created it myself. <laughs> but it's, it's really cute. It's, it's for Valentine's, but it's really cute. Hi, Judy. Oh, no problem. I'm glad you made it. All right, so here's our flowers. And I'm using this pool party ribbon and I'm just gonna actually I I did it the other way I actually 
Um, I'm going to just do it this way. <laughs> Last time I, I don't know why I did that on this original, I did it this way and I glued it in the back. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, I'm going to do it in the front this time because then you can't see the seam. I guess I wasn't thinking. <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm going to add some glue here. I know, aren't they cute, Deborah? It's and this one's one of those the free choices of okay make sure that's straight sometimes i'll just use glue dots for this but i'm gonna i'm just gonna glue it the glue dots stick instantly so <laughs> This is going to make me wait a minute. Patience, patience. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to attach this. In the center. And we are going to pop up the flowers. We're gonna do one, a couple of them, I think. Now we're gonna just do this one flat. I'm gonna put it here. And I also used some, I wanted to add a little bit of black, so I made a, a bow with my black baker's twine. And we're just gonna, let's see. It's going to be small. And we are going to use the dimensionals for the other ones. This does not, you know what? I used the wrong um, ink. This is um, petal pink, and I used flirty flamingo. We are, I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, this, use the petal pink, although these are pretty too, <laughs> but you'll see in a minute, I'm looking over at the other one and I can see that. I don't know why I had the flirty flamingo out. I think I used it, oh, I used it for another project, that's why. I used it for the one for Sunday. I filmed it today, so. And then we're going to do these two. Take that backing off. I have these everywhere. I'm sure you all do too. The backings on that, I find them all over my house. I'm always picking them up. So I'm going to use a glue dot for this bow. I really think I like the um, petal pink. Put that one there. And then we're going to put these on there. And there. So there it is. That one's done. But here's the other one. You'll see how what a difference it is. I really like the petal pink better on there. But then just these little bags are really cute. These are our new bags. Um, I don't know what I did with the packaging, but um, they're in the mini catalog too. But they're really cute. They got these little dots on them and stuff. They're really cute for the birthday bonanza, but. I thought I'd show you how you can just stick the candy in there. So there's that one. So let's do the other one. Thanks, Connie. So here's the other one. And you can fit more in here than just that. This is really a good size. So we're going to do the exact same thing with this one. All the measurements are the same. And when I post this, and it's probably going to be maybe next week before this one gets posted, 
because I'm working on the one from last week this week. Thanks, Judy. And we're going to do the same with this one. And we'll score this. Here's his little hat. I should have done one of the other little critters, but I really like him. He's cute. All right, so let's go ahead and score it again. And you're going to score it again on the eight and a half at three and four. It's really easy scoring and everything. And then one and four and a half. And then always remember to, I know, it is cute, right, sis? The, the yellow. This one is um, pineapple pineapple punch. All right, so always remember to mat it first. The first one I did, I forgot to mat it, and then there was no way I was going to be able to cut it the right way. So we're going to put the little birds, or the birds, all the little animals on the inside. Isn't that paper so cute? I love the little koala too. And then remember to pull that one up and do it on this side. Okay, and then we're ready to cut that one. So we'll bring that up again. And all you need are these two oval, layering ovals for it. Or if you have any layering ovals, don't fall. On the bottom, we're gonna use the smaller one. This time I'm gonna stick the little sticky on it so it doesn't move on me. And just this one will fit right in between those two score lines. And this one you're going to run all the way through. Hi, Sandy. I know, aren't they adorable? I love the bonanza buddies. They're so cute. So that's the, I think that's a, everybody's really liking the bonanza buddies. They're so adorable. And then this one, you're going to put it and make sure it's going to go over your score lines, but um, make sure it just looks even on both sides. And then you, you don't want to cut all the way through on this, on this one. You're going to just line this up just about halfway. Gonna make sure these are straight and then we're gonna just put that one through. I'm running it back and forth because when you have designer series paper and the cardstock, it takes a little bit to go through. Alright, so that's it for that. And then we're going to just cut these again, just cut it straight across. That's why you want to make sure it's even so the sides are even. Get that messed up. And then we're going to just cut into these. And then this one. And then I'm just gonna, let's sharpen our score marks first on these. Yeah, I looked everywhere to see if there was a tutorial for it and I couldn't find one, so I just 
decided to make it myself. All right, so we're gonna put the adhesive on this side. And then we'll pull these up. And then just make sure your bottoms are even. That's the important part on this one. And then we're going to do the same with this one. You're just going to cut, and I'm actually using this as a guide, and then just cutting at an angle across there. like that. And this one, I'm not going to mat the sides. I'm just going to leave this it like that. All right. So then this one we're going to cut. Let's put our little, oh, I just dropped him. Our little toucan. Oh, I'm going to color his beard or his beard. <laughs> I'm going to color his beak and his, it's Mango Melody. Cajun Craze and Dark Pumpkin Pie that I'm using for that. I'm just doing his beak. These are so cute. And I did stamp this. I didn't cut it out of the paper. But you can if you want. And then I'm just going to add, while I have this, I'm just going to add his little party hat. And I'm using a little, one of the little, of these little pom-poms. I'm using one of those for his little pom-pom on that. <laughs> He's cute. The, they're all cute. All the little critters off of here are cute. The, there's a little koala and whoop. <laughs> every time I open these pom poms, though they they go everywhere. So that's him. He's all ready. And then we're gonna stamp this one. I'm gonna use Bermuda Bay and pumpkin pie. Hi, Linda. And I'm going to cut this one straight across too, like I did that other one. And then we're just going to stamp the happy birthday on here. Let's move him away. And I'm going to use the Memento Black again. Hi, Joanne. So there's that. And I'm using the little, this little pom-poms actually for his hat, but if you're gonna stamp it, but um, just using it like for little accents on here, just to kind of bring that color in. Like that, and then we're going to, I think that's all the stamping. Close these. It's your favorite one, sis? I know, it's it really is cute. I, the colors and everything are so cute. But you can make a bunch of these. I mean, I don't think they'd really take a lot of time. They'd be really cute party favors. And then I'm, I cut one of the banners out of Bermuda Bay. This is in the same dies for the Bonanza Buddy. And then we're gonna put this across here. I'm gonna cut one off. I'm actually gonna trim them. I really need my little scissors for this, but. It's 
right here. And then I'm popping him up with a dimensional or a couple of them. I know this, the other one's a grown ups one. This one's <laughs> more of a, although I think an adult would like it too. <laughs> so then we're going to put him over here. Let's see. Right there. And then just put your candy in and it's all ready to go. Aren't they cute? I just love, love the paper. <laughs> But I am a paper snap. I really love paper. Oh, I know. So that's it. And here's the other two. All right. I will see everybody next week at the same time. And I hope you all have a great weekend. And I'll catch you next week. Thanks, everyone, for coming. See you later. Bye.